Oh, that's a shame. That's a fairly quick print. But the little hook there has obviously come loose. So I'll have to try and print that again and put some glue on the bed to try and stop it coming loose. Because the rest of that is printed perfectly. What a shame. Well, that's the second attempt, and that's worse than the first attempt. That's frustrating, because it looks really nice, but it's just failing. I've got to tweak something in my settings to get that to work. Because that piece is fine. This is lifted a bit. I think what it is, it's the extra hook which is positioned in the middle for the print and that's what's coming loose. So what I think I'll have to do is try and modify the print and do the hook separately. I think that's all I can do because my printer is not printing it at the moment. Well, that's the third attempt. And that looks like it's worked this time. Little hook is printed okay. I put one together. The guy who actually designed this, created it. He shows you how to make a nice little washer out of a piece of aluminium tin can. I decided to do my own thing, so I've cut just a tiny little bit off the end of one of these um, ballpoint pen tubes and used that as my washer. Whether that's as good as the original, I don't know. It certainly seems to work. Next thing is what sort of rubber band you should be using. Uh, he does specify, whereas I'm just using good old loom bands. If you've never come across them, you must have been hiding under a rock. They were all a rage a few years back and they're still available, but these ones are several years old and they're still nice and flexible but they're probably not as strong as the rubber band he had in mind let's see how far i can wind this before it breaks that yeah, that far okay so i got quite a few turns on there i was doing that because i've tried it several times and i actually can't get it to fly i've tried giving it a little bit of help by bending its wings a bit to give us a bit of an airfoil shape as it spins up. Getting the band on is interesting because it's just a bit small for my big fat fingers. In fact, thinking about it, it might have been easier to do it the other way around. Put it on the bottom first. That's a bit tight, and the top one we can go on a little bit easier, I think. Yeah, okay. That's about 60 turns I've got on there. And in theory, the way these are originally designed, you have them in a book. And when you open the book, they fly up and fly away. Well, 
It did jump out of the book, or my hands, but it didn't actually fly up in the air. I have made several of my own in the past, and they I've never really got a good flight. But they do at least go up, whereas that one didn't. We'll change the camera angle and give it a few extra goes. We're recording through my wireless microphone. So I should be able to wander away from the camera and you can still hear me talking. I'm just winding this up. I'll give it a little throw to get it going. But that always seems like cheating to me. Yeah, it sort of... <laughs> It really didn't do much. Oh, we got a bit of a climb. I mean, obviously me throwing it helps, but... Right, like I say, you open the book and it should fly out. Yeah. <laughs> Flying usually means up that way. The ones that I made, I made from bent paper clips. And sticky back paper. So check the video description and I'll put a link to my rubber band powered butterflies or something like that. Again, I'll give it a bit of a push this time. Yeah, it does start off in the right direction. Just as a demonstration, if I just throw it without winding it up. Yeah, I. <laughs> Was there any difference between that and when it was wound up? Not winding it up, little throw, goes up quite well. Wind it up. Mm, about the same. I suppose I could try putting a second rubber band on it, give it more power. Only thing is we might actually collapse it with too much power. Right. Double the power. Try just the open book. It flew horizontally a little bit. And then the last possible thing is to heat it up and twist it into a propeller shape. Oh, I shouldn't have done that with heat on it. With the rubber band on it, it collapsed. Didn't think about that. That was a bad idea, Grandad. All right, I've bent the propeller to more of a propeller shape, but because I held it over the heat Forgetting that I've still got the rubber band in place, it actually collapsed the frame. I've held it still so it's cooled down again, so it's back in shape, more or less. That did seem to go in the right direction. Oh, yes. That's definitely going up now. Just give it a gentle... Oh, yes. I'm definitely not throwing it up that high, am I? I'm just doing that. And it's going right up there. Yep. We are definitely getting a climbing flight now that I've actually twisted the propeller into a propeller shape. But if you're going to do that, do that before you assemble it, because you don't want to heat this bit up, because it's going to collapse. See what happens if I just open my hands. Yeah, it definitely flew away. What's the chances of flying towards the camera? It's 
sort of. <laughs> Absolutely no way of directing it. That was better. Close to the camera. Nearly there. Right, well, I've no idea how good that will look on video until I edit it. And one of the bands has died now. So that's using two loom bands to give it enough power. And heating up the propeller bit so it's actually a propeller shape. The idea is it's supposed to lie completely flat inside a book and when you open it it flies up on its own accord but i couldn't get it to do any height until i actually bent that into a propeller shape so full details in the video description